All right, praise the Lord, Pastor Steve Sterling, giving you a quick message. Amen. It lets you be encouraged. Um, this has been really a tremendous month in August. Now we're moving towards September, and, uh, and it won't be just embers, but it'll be flames of fire and power and experience uh, exemplary bar none, bar nothing. I mean, it's going to be fantastic. Uh, what a month to move into. And the thought is that God can do anything but fail. God is on our side, and with God, all things are possible. And we know that. God is true, and every word that he spoken will come to pass, and he will never leave us nor forsake us. He's with us always, even unto the end of the age. And we thank God for that. Praise the Lord. You know, um, I've got a uh, quick word here uh, in Proverbs thirteen twenty two. It says, a good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children. A good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children. And the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. The wealth of the sinner is laid up for the righteous. So you've got a lot of... Um, experiential expectation going on here because the inheritance comes through Jesus Christ and uh, it's pulling away from the sinner that which they've stored up and it's bringing it to you and that's got to be good news isn't it of course we know um, the inheritance is is for a good good man and woman but you know Romans 8 17 tells us how how we can accomplish the goodness if children then heirs heirs of God and fellow heirs with Christ if children then heirs heirs of God and fellow heirs of Jesus Christ amen and that that heirship that dowry that bequeathal comes to us through Christ. He is our goodness, and he's our godness, and he's our greatness. And he's pulling away from the sin of that which they are hoarding and that which they are uh, convalescing uh, and trying to control, contrive, to get. And uh, God is also bringing the blessing to you. First Peter one four, God says he's coming so that we can obtain an inheritance which is imperishable, undefiled, that will not fade away to an inheritance which is imperishable, undefiled, and will not fade away, reserved for you in heaven. So your inheritance is actually reserved for you. It's an undying and unfading, imperishable, um, and undefiled. It's blessed beyond your recognition, beyond your belief strategy, beyond your knowledge, beyond your knowing, beyond your ability to perceive, recognize. But, you know, God is going to manifest it to you in the month of September. Amen. Well, what, what does an inheritance include? Well, Proverbs 19, 14 tells us houses and lands, wealth are an inheritance from uh, the Lord. Amen. Houses and wealth, land is an inheritance from the Lord. Glory to God. Amen. And these types of things are coming to us. They are being placed right in front of us. They're being unfolded and they're being opened to us uh, by God's predilection, by his foreknowledge, by his thought process. You know, Psalm 19, 6, lines have fallen to me in pleasant places. Lines have fallen to me in pleasant places. Amen. I mean, um, the psalmist says it best. The Lord is 
the portion of my inheritance and my cup. You support my lot. You support my line. You support my life. You support my dowry. You just support my destiny. The Lord is the portion of my inheritance and my cup. Hallelujah. My cup runneth over. Your cup runneth over. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You know, and so we get um, worked over by the Lord. You know, he takes control and begins to stabilize us and uh, balance things out in our life. The inheritance comes our way. And the inheritance is actually everything in the earth, of the earth, and with the earth. Matthew 5, 5, blessed are the gentle or the meek, for they shall inherit, they shall inherit the earth. Woo! Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. We're qualified. We are qualified, bona fide, to receive that inheritance. Um, in Colossians 1.12, giving thanks to the Father who has qualified us to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. Hallelujah. Giving thanks to the Father who has qualified us to share in the inheritance in the saints of light. Amen. Because you're saints of light, God qualifies you, quantifies you, and esteems you ready and right to receive those types of rewards. You know, Isaiah 61, 7, instead of your shame, you shall have a double portion. Instead of humiliation, they will shout for joy over their portion. They will possess a double portion in their land, and everlasting joy will be theirs. Amen. All we have to do is ask to receive. And, that, you know, we're in the asking mode for you for the month of September. There won't be an ember, but it'll be a flame. It'll be a bonfire. It'll be a blessing, bounty, booty. It'll be a manifestation of the sons of God without exception. You know, Psalm 2, 8, ask of me, he says, I'll give you the, the nations as your inheritance and the very ends of the earth as your possession. So you can see that our portion is great. Our inheritance is unlimited. Amen. Deuteronomy 32, 9, for the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob uh, is anointed of his inheritance. Jacob is the anoint or the allotment, excuse me, of his inheritance. Jacob is the allotment of his inheritance. Glory to God. And so I'm praying today that God will enlighten your eyes, open your eyes, and he'll show you exactly uh, what he wants to do for you in the area of inheritance for the month of September. Ephesians 1.18, I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened so that you may know what is the hope of his calling, what are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints, what are the riches of his glory of his inheritance in the saints. Amen. Well, God bless you is my fondest prayer for you. God richly endow you and do you and give you your portion and more than you can bargain for right now in Jesus' mighty name. God bless and God's best. Talk to you later. Bye-bye for now.